Hello everybody from Columbus, Ohio. I am about to check out in a few hours, but before I do, I wanted to give you a good recap about how this weekend went. So first off, I wanna apologize for my voice. I'm still a little sick. I got sick here basically since I got into Columbus. And it's nothing serious, it's just affecting my voice and I'm kinda of coughing and sneezing and my nose is running and I don't know. I'll survive, don't worry. So, um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about how the show went. I am so proud of myself because I brought one of my best packages to date. And I finally, I guess, found a happy spot with the conditioning thing. So, in the past, I've been sometimes too lean and sometimes too soft. But I found a happy medium. I think I finally nailed it the show. My conditioning was in my opinion, the best that it's been. So it's good to finally figure that part out. As far as my presentation went, now that I feel like wasn't my strongest this weekend. And I know I've seen better presentations for myself. I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel it. Like my energy was just eh. Like usually before I go on stage, I get this rush of excitement and adrenaline. But for some reason, this time I was just like, uh, meh you know I don't know how to explain it it's like my mind wasn't there so with that being said I was like a, a little nervous a little shaky I didn't flow as well as I usually do on stage it was like kind of just a flat kind of basic boring routine for me and I know my legs were a little shaky a little stutter steps here and there my toes actually went numb too because it was like cold backstage so my toes went numb as well so that didn't help the whole situation feel like I should have been a little more energetic with my presentation and that's something I definitely want to fix for next time and just be more aware of it so hopefully the more shows I do this year I can kind of get back into the swing of things as far as the presentation is concerned so that's definitely something I can improve on some other positives though is like I tried a new hairstyle which I absolutely loved I wore my hair curly like I never do that on stage, so I wore my hair curly and I ended up loving that look. So I'll probably try to do that again. My suit was good. I had a new suit from Angel's Competition Bikinis and that was an awesome suit. So good job with that one. Yeah, I just felt like probably my main issue was my posing. And I ended up getting feedback after the show. Everybody loves to hear what the judges have to think. Let me just say this. Before I tell you like the judges input and what um, their feedback was, by all means I'm not like making excuses and I always kind of like hesitate to tell you guys judges feedback because I don't ever want it to come across as if like I'm trying to make an excuse or like, you know, I'm not like that. Let me just say this first and foremost, I got third. The reason why I got third is because two girls were better than me, okay? That's the short answer. If you want to know what the judges had to say, what I can improve on, which I'm putting this hand so close to my phone here, and it's making my hand look huge. So I'll just keep it down here. Uh, which, by the way, I am filming on my iPhone, and Dean is not here, so the quality of this one might not be as good. So the, the judges said, almost similar to what I, I thought, I, I have this really bad habit of when I do the, my back posing, I can pose a little too hard. So I can push my butt out a little too much, which in return doesn't make my butt look the best it could. And I have glutes, I have good glutes, I don't have to force it so much, so I should be a little more upright and push less. And that's a bad habit that I've developed um, ever since the Olympia. So I need to keep working on that and fixing it. It's like when I'm doing it on stage, I don't even realize I'm pushing that far. So until I get the pictures, until I get feedback, and then I understand it more. Another judge said for me, maybe I can make my body look a little more symmetrical by backing off the, the leg training a little bit. And I agree, because sometimes my my lower half can appear a little uh, bigger than my upper. So that's something I will definitely consider. And I will kind of back off of the leg training a little bit, nothing too serious. But yeah, these, these things are good to know so I can improve for next time. And what's my next show? I'm not 100% sure. I do wanna, I do wanna compete again soon. Um, 
but I guess I'm gonna see when I get back home because first off I want to make sure I'm over this cold because it's, it's annoying and then second off um, I want to make sure that like you know I had a few days of some cheat meals and you know I rebounded a little bit nothing like serious and when I say rebound I don't mean I put on fat I meant like water retention so my abs I'll show you guys in the next uh, little clip here but my abs kind of went away a little bit and that's that's very common after a show so as you can see I have a really bad tan residue on my abs but I also lost a few of them when you haven't had certain foods for a while and then you have have those foods then it can kind of your body's like what is this and, and then you start to hold a little bit of water but nothing too serious but I just want to make sure you know that goes away before I start looking at what show I want to do next so I want to enter in some photos some videos here and you guys can check it out for yourself but overall I'm very happy about my appearance here and third place that is pretty dang good because this is the second largest most competitive show of the entire year Olympia being number one I'll be number two so yeah I can't wait to do a little uh, posing practice with coach Adam and improve these little things that I know I can improve on and that's another reason why I want to jump right back into competing in another show too is because I'm a little like I'm a little like oh I know I can do better with the posing right I want to leave off on a better note so with that being said I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting me and all the kind positive messages and one more thing that I kind of want to touch on before I go. Let me just say this. Believe it or not, <clears throat> I never come into a show with any expectations at all. Like, even even a few years ago when I was always winning and won the Olympia, even in a smaller show, I would never assume I was going to win or I'd never come in expecting to win or anything like that. I, I don't look for our placements as like a validation of how... Um, hard I worked etc so with that being said the reason why I kind of view it that way is because this is a subjective sport and there's only one thing I control and can control in this situation and that's myself like I can't control who shows up I can't control in what condition they're gonna show up I can't control who's gonna judge it and how they're gonna judge the show I can't control those things the only thing I can control is myself so as long as I know that I tried very hard I gave it my all I did all that I could do you know what I'm happy so thought I think that's like a good mindset to have for any competitor because if you're too focused on the placements you're gonna miss the fun of it and sometimes the fun the most fun parts are like you know the journey so don't ever forget that like it's not just about how well you do placement wise but the journey and everything it took to get here and I think everyone should be proud of themselves as long as they know that they did what they could do one thing I think people need to realize this is like applicable to me and maybe a few other people I don't know if many people can relate to this if you can let me know but you know if you guys um, know anything of my journey in the past like I won the Olympia three times I won the Arnold Classic twice I took a year off and now I come back but the bad thing about being like a past champion or or somebody that's got a lot of wins under their belt is like people will then always expect you to win always all right and then if you don't win it's like a disappointment so it just kind of sucks sometimes because I'm happy about my placement and I think I did awesome I think I looked awesome and I had a great time but what sucks is like feeling so happy and then having other people kind of almost say oh I'm sorry or I feel bad that you placed like you did or like they kind of get disappointed in me which is not a good feeling because it's like I I'm happy and I don't want I don't want people to think I'm sad because I placed third. I'm happy and I'm proud of myself. Instead of getting like congratulations, sometimes I'll get like, oh, Ashley, I'm so sorry. Or in fact, some, sometimes like the ones closest to me won't say anything at all. They'll get, well, they'll wish me good luck, but then like they realize I got third and they're probably like, oh yeah, 
well, that sucks. I don't, you know, I'm not going to say anything, but it shouldn't be like that. I'd rather get like, you know what, Ashley, you looked amazing, nice job, or congrats on third, or something like that, rather than like, I'm so sorry. Like, it's a bad mindset to have, guys. So just make sure you're aware of that, because that is one thing I've dealt with, and it just sucks, because it's like, the expectations are so high now for me because it's like I've won before so people assume that anything less than first is like a disappointment and that is not the case because you know what the sport is evolving it's growing it's getting tougher bodies are changing what they're looking for sometimes changes a little bit we're evolving so who knows and that doesn't mean that maybe I can't do it again maybe I can maybe I can't but in the meantime I'm gonna have fun with it I'm gonna try and that's all I can do Sorry guys, this is so long, but thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll answer some pics and everything and thanks for all who showed up and came out. I appreciate you and thanks for all the continued support and I will keep you updated what I decide to do next. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.